Hey everybody, Brother Jason coming to you for your Friday devotion. Just want to share a couple of scriptures with you and just thank you for allowing me to spend a few minutes with you. Thank you for allowing me to, to share some of God's word with you. But we're going to look at, at Isaiah, looking at chapter 5 and, and verse 20. In, in light of everything going on out there, there seems to be a lot of confusion. And, and we're, we're kind of blurring the lines of, of right and wrong. We're blurring the lines of good and evil. And the Bible ha has a strong words to say about that. So we're going to look at Isaiah chapter 5 and verse 20. It says, Woe, or wait a second, something bad is fixing to go on here. It says, Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. So complete distinctions between right and and wrong. See, there, there's a, a little saying that, that, you know, the Lord gave to me a long time ago. It's never, ever right to do wrong. And it's never, ever wrong to do right. And, and nowadays, people seem, again, that they're confusing. They're blurring the lines of good and evil, right and wrong, light and darkness. Well, the Bible says, woe unto them. They better watch out. When we start calling good evil and evil good, the Bible has a, a very strong warning about that. We need to be careful at who we're mixing with. We need to be careful at who we're running with. We need to be careful at who we're agreeing with. Because the Bible says, Woe unto them, again, chapter 5, verse 20, Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Right has never changed. Wrong has never changed. Right has never become wrong. Wrong has never become right. We need to keep those distinctly different, and we need to understand that they, they do not change. There is one truth. There is one way. There is one life. There is one way, folks. John fourteen six. the Bible tells us, Jesus says, I am. Jesus says, I am the way. Jesus says, I am the life. Jesus says, I am the truth. He is all those things. He says, I am the way, the truth, the life. No one comes to Father except by me, by the Jesus Christ, that is. John 14, 6. So we've looked at Isaiah chapter 5, verse 20. Very, very clear warning. Very, very clear distinction between right and wrong, good and evil, bitter for sweet. We need to be really careful. We're listening to a whole lot of things being said out there. All the, you, you can get completely confused with what's going on on the social media platforms. You know, good is being covered up. Evil is being glorified. Look at what the Word of God has to say about this. We need to focus on the Lord Jesus Christ. There's one way, there's one right, and there's a wrong that's always wrong. And right is always right. That has never changed, folks. But people are trying to change that. We need to be careful. We need to look out what we're getting ourselves involved with, what we're lifting up and giving a platform, maybe in our life, maybe we're becoming a part of that. But be careful with that. You know, the Lord is always, always, always open, always gracious, always full of mercy. If we just come to Him, if we have gotten caught up in this, come to Him, repent of it. Turn it over to the Lord. But remember again, John 14, 6, Jesus says, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except by me by Jesus Christ. Don't forget that. Look in the scriptures. If you want to see absolute truth, it's absolutely all the time. You can have faith in it. You can depend on it. The word of God never changes. The word of God is never wrong. The word of God is always there for us. Those of us that have called upon Jesus Christ as our personal savior, he will take care of us. He will be there for us. He will lift us up. And we need to lift him up in our lives. Word of God, you can't go wrong there. Stick to it. Stick in it. Stay with it. Be faithful. I hope this word you know, lifts you up, gives you some, some clarity on what's going on out there. But then again, thank you for just giving me a couple minutes to spend with you. Thank you for letting me share the word of God with you. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you, Lord. And, and Lord, we see clearly that your Bible, your word, the, the only absolute truth that's, that's out there, Lord, says clearly, woe unto those that call good evil and evil good. 
that put light for darkness and darkness for light. They call bitter sweet and sweet bitter. Lord, I pray for our, our community. I pray for our state. I pray for our country, Lord. There's so much, so much confusion out there. But I am so thankful that your word never changes. Your word never fades. Lord, I pray and I encourage and I hope and I lift, Lord, all these to you, Lord, that are just caught in the middle, Lord. I pray they'll look into your word. They will seek your true, absolute wisdom, Lord. I lift up our community leaders, our state leaders, our nation leaders, Lord, our national leaders, Lord. I, I just I hope and I pray, Lord, that they'll look to you for guidance and direction. Lord, that they'll look to you for absolute truth. That we may be able to distinguish between right and wrong in our lives first, Lord, so that we may be able to recognize it. Lord, thank you for loving us. Thank you for your, your mercy, your grace, your patience, and your, your forgiveness, Lord. Thank you. In Jesus' name, amen.